Welcome! We're here in kosher.com's Kosher Kids Canvas Kitchen where we don't cook food, we draw food! On Sukkot, we eat a lot of yummy food, but it's not about what we eat, it's about where we eat them. In a sukkah. I love being in a sukkah outdoors with the family, but today I'm stuck cooking in my kitchen. But we can draw sukkah. That's a great idea. Grab your coloring supplies, a ruler if you're the measuring type, a paper, and a dash of creativity. So we are going to start with the walls of the sukkah. So I'm going to take my ruler, you don't have to, and I'm going to draw one side of the sukkah here and the other side of the sukkah over here. Fantastic! And now I'm going to draw the schach, the leaves on top of the sukkah. So I'm going to draw a long branch and I'm gonna fill it in with many, many leaves on both sides. But we wanna keep a little bit of space so we can at least see the stars. We're gonna fill it in. I love how you did this. Even though ours look a little different, that's perfect because sukkahs come in all different shapes and sizes. Now we're gonna make more of the walls of the sukkah. So I'm gonna take the ruler again, and I'm gonna make another line just about here. And another one right in the middle. Or a little on the side, that's okay too. I'm going to close off these two lines, and now, oh, perfect, that's amazing. I'm going to make a slanted line connecting the one in the back, so it looks a little three-dimensional. Now, for this side, we're going to make a curtain, so everyone knows they are welcome in the sukkah. I'm going to make a slanted line on that side, and then coming right out. To make it look like it has texture and movement, we're going to add a few little lines inside. Now, a lot of people decorate their sukkah, so we're going to add some sukkah decorations. First, we're going to add those rings that people add in their sukkah. People make them out of paper and all different fun material. And I also think it's so fun when you see dangling fruit from the top of the sukkah. So we're going to make some strings coming down with little pomegranates hanging down. So we're going to make a circle with the little upside down crown of the pomegranate. We'll make some different fruit if you'd like. So cute. Oh, an apple. I love that. Okay. Now, because we eat in the sukkah, we're going to draw a table. So for the table, we're going to have a line coming horizontally across. We're going to have a line coming slanted down. And because it's going to be a tablecloth, we're going to do a nice slight wave. That's really great. We're going to add a little rectangle coming down for the leg of the table. And because it's succus on the table, we're going to have our lulav and esrei. So we're going to have the lulav slanted over here, a straight line with a curve coming down. We're going to put a little lines here for the covering of the lulav for the holder. And now a bunch of leaves for the hadassim and aravais. If you have extra space, you could put the lulav coming right out on top. That is great. 
That's amazing. And we cannot forget our beautiful, delicious, huge S rake. So I'm going to make a little smile with a little hit and bump coming out. And a frown on top to finish off that S rake. Zev, this is amazing. Are you ready to color it in? Zev, I love the colors you chose. Amazing. And I love how your picture is filled into the line exactly. Thank you. And actually, after drawing this sukkah, I feel like I'm sitting in a real sukkah. Me too. And we can't wait to see your sukkahs that you drew. Please send us your picture to hello at kosher.com. Have a wonderful sukkahs. Bye.